Welcome back to Oblivion, everybody. This is Sir Fando, the Magnificent, of course. All kitted out in my heavy steel plate armor. And we are in the house of Modron Orain. Let's talk. Let's talk, he says. Indeed we shall. Good, you're here. We've got duties to attend to. Duties. Duty. That's what all this is about, isn't it? The Blackwood Company is destroying us. They steal our contracts. They steal our members. It's our duty to strike back. We need to make a move against them. And we need to do it now. <laughs> duty. I've been looking into them. Heard some disturbing things. We know they're a danger to us. And we know they're good at what they do. Uh, why are they so ex effective? Good question. I've heard stories, but nothing I can prove is true. Maybe they've got a mage working with them. Maybe they're just well trained. All I know for sure is that they'll accept any contract, and they'll do anything to complete it. And they don't care who gets in the way. No morals. Okay, well... Velena's gotten tentative since the Blackheart mission. She's worried about getting us killed. But we're just getting killed a little bit at a time. Just getting killed a little bit? Azani Blackheart? What does this have to do anything? That mission was the start of it. That was when Vitellus was killed. Uh -huh. We were contracted by a wizard, Argoth, to recover an artifact from Blackheart. I went in there with 20 men. I left with five. Vitellus wasn't one of them. He died covering our retreat. I snooped around. Apparently, they completed that contract for us. I went in there with 20 good men. I can't believe that bunch finished the job. There's more. Argoth, he's dead. The artifact gone. Sounds like a setup. Maybe they made a deal with Blackheart. I don't know. But I'll find out. So what now? Now we find out what really happened. And we let it be known. I want to show the people who the Blackwood Company really are. I can't order you to do this with me. It's dangerous, and Velena isn't going to know about it. It's your choice. I'm pretty sure she's... Wait a minute. I don't have to do it? I've never refused. What happens if I don't do it? Do I come back later? I'm sorry to hear that. Sooner or later, the contracts are going to dry up. Maybe then you'll reconsider. Sooner or later, the contracts are going to dry up. I need your help. <laughs> All right. So it was either continue quest or continue quest later. I got it. We leave as soon as you're ready. I want to investigate Blackheart's stronghold in Arpenia. Meet me at the Leowen Guild Hall. We'll go from there. Blackheart's stronghold. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like a storm's a brewing. Okay, to Leowen. Forgot I got a bow. Back of very sunder blade. Could probably uh That's actually marginally better. Six points of damage plus five frost damage, that's like double damage. Okay. To Leo in. Okay. Where is... I suppose I have to go to the guild hall. Alavera leaves. There's a really cool mod called Harvest Flora. That when you actually take an ingredient, the uh, plant left behind is left with less. So, like, I'd actually take the leaves. 
But this is Vanilla Oblivion. And I'm not about to put any mods in Oblivion. Unlike Skyrim. I will say, when I do eventually get to the point of modding this game, I'm gonna, like, go big. Like, all-out overhauls. Like, basically turning this into Dungeons & Dragons, the game. And yes, I know, uh, Neverwinter Nights is a thing. I'm supposed to talk with- oh, he's up- he's above me. Of course. Hi! Did your mohawk get bigger? I swear your mohawk well met. met. Oh hi. <laughs> I swear we need to check out our pinia. Come on, I'll follow you. Cool. Our penia. What is our penia? Oh. I just I I can just go there. I don't remember ever being here before, but okay. Arpenia? Let's look around. We need to find out what happened to them. It's all suspicious to me. Okay. Later. Take a look around? Well, uh, it's an alien ruin. The kind that's literally just a hole in the ground. Oh, it's, it's the final boss of, uh... Well, that works. What are my hotkeys again? Uh-huh. You know, a cold damage sword isn't going to do much in an alien ruin if I go up against ghosts. Okay. Um. What did I have in hotkey number one that I don't have anymore? Probably repair hammers. I'm guessing repair hammers. And I don't have any repair hammers, which makes sense. <clears throat> Hi, Grugo. Welcome to the stream. We're back at Oblivion. We are continuing our Fighters Guild run. Okay, I guess uh, Modrin's doing all the work here. It's fine. So yeah, welcome to the stream. This is Oblivion. We're finally doing Oblivion again. Okay, this looks like one of them gas chambers. Is it safe? S some of the alien traps are just so... Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. So, like, if I go into the middle of this, it's going to take me up and crush me with all those spikes, obviously. But... Yeah, standing at the edge. Ugh. Like... Nothing. I knew it. Azani Blackheart isn't here, alive or dead. What do you mean? We haven't looked around at all. The bastards. There was no battle. Azani must have made a deal with the Blackwood Company. My guess is that they paid him off. I disagree. They get the weapon for Argo. Collect the payment and tell Azani where the mage is. Easy for Blackheart to retrieve the weapon and collect on it. We find Blackheart and get that weapon. We'll finish this contract and let all of Cyrodiil know what happened here. Blackheart has a fascination with these alien ruins. There's one northeast of here, Atatar. My bet is that he moved his base there. I'll lead. We'll show them. Seriously? 
Like, we, we just go into the atrium. This is the atrium with a giant spike trap. If these alien ruins used to be cities, why would you have this at the city's entrance? I mean, I suppose if I was a uh, Heartland High Elf, I would probably see that coming. All right, Modron's going to just uh, chill there, and I am going to continue through this dungeon because he obviously didn't look around enough. Ooh, I like this sword. I need the XP, I need some loot. Oh, one of those crystals. I remember those. If I get too close. Yep, it glows red. And it shoots. No lockpicks. I don't have lockpicks? Since when do I not have lockpicks? Oh, this does something. Found some loot. Oh dear. Oh dear. See, I know Skyrim had them sold trap or those soul gem traps, but like you can't collect these and turn them off. They're just there forever. Also, why would an alien city, again, have something like this where oh, there's just a thing in the center of a room that straight up attacks everyone who gets next to it? I remember the axe traps in Skyrim, but the thing about the axe traps in uh, Oblivion, they may be a little slower, but that's insta-kill right there. And it doesn't matter what level you're at. Oblivion traps, like there's rock slides, there's, there's spike pits of death. And everything's instant kill. Maybe it's set up by looters after ancient civilization was gone. Um, I kind of disagree with that because, um, like, even traps like this, they're, like, built into the architecture. So, like, that stone that cast frost spells at me, that was, like, the centerpiece. There was a built-in pillar. The spike trap that sends you up to the ceiling, that was like a giant centerpiece built into the floor, and it goes straight up. So it's like, the aliens really didn't want visitors. So, unless, like, the central chambers to these cities are all, like, collapsed in, like, this pile of rub rubble here. Like, if this actually, like, led to a residential district, you know, that would make sense. But, like, I've never seen, like, a large area of alien ruins that is, like, completely safe. Yeah, so it's like, what what kind of uh, um, what kind of looters or bandits would set up something this elaborate? <laughs> Need one of those traps for your room. You don't want visitors. Uh, I probably wouldn't want like. Oh, hi, pizza! Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well. How are you today? Uh, there's Modron. 
Yeah, if I if I had a centerpiece that took up 25% of my room. Actually, this is it's about I divide this room into 1 2 3 4 um 5 6 7 yeah, eight eight squares. So like if an eighth of my room was just a death trap, I think that would be way too much space. Like the bed the bed takes up an eighth of the bedroom or more. Imagine like turning over in your sleep and then you just like get pressed against the ceiling in a spike trap. Okay, this, this is a gas room. And unlike in Skyrim, flames don't actually ignite the gas and turn it off. I kind of just have to like run through it and hope I don't die. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if I got too close to those vents. Yeah, again, to set up, like, the entire piping system for these toxic fumes to come out of. Yeah, it would be... Oh. Silver arrows, those will come in handy. Gotta find a way up to that platform. Can't remember which way I came from. Pull up the map! Yep, okay, so I think I just continue this way and go straight. I don't know how much of the dungeon is over here, but this, I'm guessing, is, like, the boss chamber. Alright. These things. Now, these things could have been put in later by looters. But, boy, do I hate these. Like, they're slow, and if you touch them at, like, any point... Oh, goodness! comes down way too quick like as soon as it's back up I suppose I have to jump jump over him like I hate him but it's a good design oh there's no boss chambers just a loot open eat uh, good thing I have that haha -ha. Alteration is the best school of magic. Prove me wrong. Okay. Whoa. Okay, it's not instant kill, but it's still, like, enough to really hurt. I'm surprised this, uh, ruin had no welkin stones. Okay, I'm following you. I looted the rest of it. I'll have you know you were right, but you still gave up way too quickly. Uh, stupid escort quests. 
His walking speed is faster than my walking speed, but his running speed is slower than my running speed. Kind of thing. Thought I had this hot keyed. There we go. Ah, my favorite weather. So, Madrin, you said it's nearby, yet, uh, it's not marked on my map. <laughs> We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Oh wait, I can't do a cutaway. It's just me here. Uh oh. Quality Battle Axe Ember. Quality Battle Axe Ember. It's not of Ember, it's just Ember. Now, it's worth a good coin, but I'm gonna give it back to you simply because it's too heavy for me to carry. Like, what else could I get rid of here? Suppose I could get rid of my sellable things that are only this much, but they don't weigh anything. I don't need the steel bow, if I got a bow of burning. Yeah, it's already hot keyed. Alright. I could probably sell the Sunder Blade. But the disintegrate weapon and armor is pretty valuable. If only it had more than, like, three uses to it. Okay, Madrin. I don't see any alien ruins around. Except the one we were just at. I'm gonna go on ahead, okay? I'll, I'll wait for you there. There's a mine over there. Where did he say we were going? Suggests we search nearby alien ruins and nose of one to the northeast. Northeast is this way. I would assume it's like over here somewhere. Wait, that's northwest. Ah, look at that. even got itself a little road. Wonder if he'll follow me. Oh, there's an inn up here too. I'm more excited for the inn than the the ruins. Ah ha! You can now attack while jumping. I thought I could do that already. Now I can do my infamous battle swing kick thing. Okay, so this one leads to the Iliad Ruin. This one leads to an inn. I could probably go to the inn and then back to the Iliad Ruin. Drunken Dragon Inn. Yes, please. Do you have any paintbrushes? The Drunken Dragon Inn. That is a nice uh, little thumbnail opportunity. I could, uh, here, I'm gonna back up. I could get rid of the crosshairs.
Of course, it started raining right when I, right when I took the screenshot. Uh, okay. What is it, citizen? Hey. Hi. Hey there, pal. Need a room? Oh, I'm his friend already. Yes. Good luck on homework, Grogu. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Oh, well, I got some uh, special brew for you. I appreciate I I totally forgot to persuade him. We'll see. I'm the persuade guy. I got to I got to persuade him. Mr. Andreas Draconis. Oh, that's why it's the Drunken Dragon in. Because Draconis Let's see. Hates, enjoys, doesn't like. That's enough. You oh, such adventures. There we go. How I. That's enough. That's just not funny. Such adventure. Don't talk oh. such rot. I've been doing this wrong. I can, so, what a dumb joke. Don't try to manipulate me. What not? You. I salute you. You win this one. Such adventures. How I. Don't talk. You, that's just not funny. You're good. I didn't do that right. Sure, friend. I've got a bed you can rent. It's upstairs at the end of the hall, last door on your right. Just 20 gold. Sound good? Yeah, sure. May I interest you? And now... Can I... Yes, I can. Ha-ha! <laughs> He doesn't have 96 gold. I have to sell these individually. That seems a fair price. It seems a fair price. <laughs> okay. I appreciate your business. You're welcome. You take care now, buddy. Buddy! Ah, oh, we're friends. Alright. Let's have a little nap while we wait for Modron to walk the entire way. I think uh, the hinges are on the wrong side of the door frame. But that's just me. Do, 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 do. See ya. Uh, it's still raining. Oh, look, he finally made it. Atatar. Aha! He's here somewhere. I know it. I don't like these hunches of yours. Alright, so there's the dude here. Okay, you're probably right. There's a dude here. Hello, person. Hi. Take your arrows. All right, I guess they're bandits. I forgot I'm not playing Skyrim. Knocked him down the stairs and you didn't kill him. That is an interesting tactic. Bound war axe tome. 
might be useful. Let's let's learn that spell. Not that I would ever use a blunt weapon. But at least I can s sell the book. You learn spells in Skyrim, the book is consumed. Iron dagger. Uh, that goes somewhere too. First bedroll I see, I'm climbing in. Bandits sleep. My eyes playing tricks on me, she says. Ooh, lockpicks. Wait a minute. I don't like. How the ceiling is a bottomless pit in this room. Just waiting for rubble to fall on us. Alright, next chamber, I guess. We got company. I'm just warming up to pathetic Hmm. Varla stone cages. There's a Varla stone inside here. Those can recharge your enchanted items, and they're also worth a ton. Precisely a half ton, but... Vulcan stone. Aha! Potion of healing. Oh, that's what I had in my first hotkey. Healing potions. Good work there, Madrin. I'm gonna be over here. Second thought, I think that's the next part of the dungeon. I want to open those cages. Get the valuable stones. Hi. Wait a minute. Easy! Maybe he's exploiting it. Maybe it's bad game design. This is a great game, by the way. It's just somewhat exploitable. I don't think I could do this on consoles. This one might not have one in it. Okay, th this one was actually properly placed. So how do we open the Varla stone cages? And why do these bandits have nowhere to sleep? Like, they're literally behind locked doors that they have no access to. And they don't have anywhere to sleep. Ow. Wow. Hey, Madren. I'm going to go through this load door.
Hmm. There's a campfire. Are there any enemies on the other side? Dodged all your blasts so far. I like the little jump they do when you hit them with uh, magic damage. Okay, seriously. Where do you bandits sleep? Because there has not been a single... Oh, hey, there's Madrin. He's still chasing after the rats. Where is your sleeping chambers? I want to go to bed so I can level up. Oh, fun fact about these little gates here. If you can get above this bar here, you can actually just clip through the uh, cage on top. My acrobatics, I don't think, is high enough to demonstrate this, but here. If I could get over it. Yeah, I keep hitting that. Here. Ta-da! So if you ever see like a door like this, and there's a door here and it's locked and you can't open it. Just jump over. I'm wearing heavy armor and my acrobatics is relatively low, so anyone can do this. There he is, let's talk to him. Hey dude. And he's attacking us. Yeah. Wow, he moves fast. Okay, I'll fight the skeleton. Oh, he's he's got uh He's got good equipment. He's got good equipment. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. where's my healing potions? Oh, cool. We found and defeated Azani Blackheart. And that's his name. Sin Weaver. Drain fatigue and fire damage. And it does nine things. If only it wasn't... A two, uh, two-handed blade. I'm gonna take his ring only if uh, Modern tells me to. Uh, how much is your? Okay, that's worth keeping, even though it's heavy. What can I get rid of instead? Um, I don't think I need five hundred. Uh, unless I want to fill another room with melons. I don't need 500 scrolls. Wow. 500 times a tenth of a pound is 50 pounds. 50 pounds of paper. Oh. Alright, can I open this? It's worth a try. Let's see, I don't 
I don't understand why hot keying a torch when it when it goes out, you still have to like re hot key it. I think that's one of the things Skyrim did right. Wow, you can tell he's the boss because he has two thrones on a slightly elevated platform in the middle of a room that he brought in from somewhere else. Okay, this must be his bedroom. He's got some shinies. Potion healing. Any good books? And by good books, I mean books that I can use to... Um, level up. This is how you read in Oblivion. Okay. Hi, what, what do we do now? Azani Blackheart is dead, and our brothers avenged. Or so you say. Dead, finally. Good work. Did you retrieve his ring? I want that as proof that the Blackwood Company didn't defeat him. Get the ring for me. We'll need it as proof. We'll be talking. Yes, we will be talking. Okay. His ring. Have you pried it from the coward's corpse? Wow. I don't know, Madrin. Blackwood Company hasn't told me to kill anyone yet. You've got it. Good. I will use it to prove it was we, not the Blackwood Company, who killed him. Good work on this. Now get out of here. I'm going to head back to Coral. When there's more to do, I'll let you know. Okay. Stay with it. Um. Again. Was was there was there a bed in here? Oh my God! Not even the bandit boss sleeps. There's not a bed in this entire dungeon. This concerns me like no wonder he was a raving lunatic and nobody wanted to talk to us they're all sleep to <laughs> Madrin's unconscious because he went back through the uh, the trap I think Let me do some alchemy real quick. Store fatigue. This should uh, help with my encumbrance issue. I don't know if that actually did anything, but it was worth a try. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. 
Is there a bed in this dungeon? Anywhere in this dungeon? One bed, anywhere. My guess is no. What kind of bandit fortress doesn't even have a bed? I want to sleep. That mud crab survived. My blade must be getting dull. Ow. Did, why did it tell me to come here? I suppose there needs to be a way out in case you get trapped, but like... The way out is what trapped me. back battle you wouldn't like me if I had to back pedal all right fortunately I don't need to back pedal when I have whoops Oops, I accidentally took it. You don't need to backpedal when you have paintbrushes. Yep, no backtracking here. Seriously though, how do we raise those stone cages? Because I already pressed this button. And pressing it again, I don't think it raises... Yeah, it doesn't raise the cage. So how... do we do that? That must be the safe way. Oh! I think I found the button. Yep, found the button. I used cheap trickery and exploits to get those two, and I ended up doing the legitimate way to get the last one. So all in all, I spent exactly as much time as somebody who would have done it legitimately. Therefore, I did not cheat. 
Which is actually terrible logic to use. Don't actually rationalize bad behavior. But I am doing a chill stream where I'm just playing the game. I beat it hundreds of times. Maybe not hundreds, but dozens for sure. And by beat it, I mean completed various quest lines. Not necessarily the main one over and over again. Um, I wonder if I still have the room at the inn. Like, is it still paid for? Do I have it for another... Nope. Jeez. Most expensive room. Fennel seeds. They look like little cubes. Hi. We're always on duty. Okay. How much for a room, Mr. Guard? There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Anvil. Carry on. Terrible trouble at the chapel of Anvil. I'm not ready for that quest. Sir? There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Anvil. All of the Bella's priests and priestesses murdered. Carry on. Hey. What? You locked my room. Sure, friend. I'm... Very good. This is extortion. You take care now, buddy. He may be the only NPC that refers to the player character as Buddy in this game. I'm kind of okay with that. All right. Three points to speed. What a bargain. Endurance, obviously, needs to get some attention. Um, I'm doing pretty good in the personality department. People like me. So... We're going to strength. Level eight. All right. And because I leveled up, the game gets harder. Because enemies level up with me. Because that makes sense. All right, I have no... Um... No active quests, so maybe I should go to Let's go to Shaden Hall, see if uh what was his name? Burz Grow Cash. You know? Considering that this game came out in I believe two thousand six you know, that, that's a pretty good view for, for nearly 20-year-old graphics. <laughs> hey, birds. What can I do for you, meat? Need something to do? Yeah. Nothing now, not at your rank. Go see Azan in Anvil. Maybe he's got something. Okay. Go hurt something. It's you. Hi. I hope I can help. You want to repair my stuff? Tell me more. Let's see what we've got here. Repair all for six... No, 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 no thank you. Good day. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. And his disposition is maxed. I can't talk him down any. What is it? Hiding citizen. Hmm. To Anvil. Let's see. Whoa. Moon big.
Hazan. Oh. Welcome. Oh, hello. Hazan. Hey, I know you're in bed and it's sleepy time, but I want a job. Good day. Got anything? I don't have anything for anyone in your rank. Check with Burr's Grow Caution Shaden Hall. He might have something. But he doesn't. Be seeing you. Huh. <laughs> Nobody has any work for me. Oh, hello. Well, now that I've traveled across the entire country, maybe uh, Modron has something for me. I probably could have just traveled straight here. A pleasure to speak with you. So what you find out? I don't have anything for you, right? Or perhaps you're ready for advancement. Okay, let's talk about advancement. Your accomplishments are impressive. Because of this, I bestow upon you the rank of Warder of the Fighters Guild. But I was already Protector. Now what? I'm sorry. You're not yet... I don't have... Or... Goodbye. Okay, I guess I have to go back and know... Talk to the dudes again. Not having quest markers is hard for people like me. It's almost morning. Moon's still big. Hey, yo. Azan. A pleasure to You got you got work? Good to see you looking for more work. There's certainly more to be done. I need you to help Alante of Alanor. Alante is a scholar interested in researching deity worship. Meet her in Brittle Rock Cave. Help her find the shrine and keep her safe. Daedric Shrine? That's what Alante is studying. Make sure she's safe while she does it. Wow. Go protect Alante. She's doing important research. Greetings to you. I didn't know the fighter skilled was associated with uh, Daedra what worship. I do to deserve this honor. But, um, oh, that's that's a ways away. To Brittle Rock Cave. At least there's an inn up the road. Is acrobatics one of my major skills? My strength is being damaged by what? Feeble limb. Oh, it's a disease. There we go. That's why. Okay, acrobatics is not a major skill, so I can just... Eh. to spam the jump button. Once I get uh, acrobatics to 50, I can do a little tumble roll. Which is honestly my favorite part about the acrobatic skill. Being able to do flips. Bring it across in. that at the very beginning. What did I catch at the very beginning? Let's see, I think
think the Malakath Shrine is around here somewhere. Is that Nightshade? That's oh, just Mandrake. Oh, the disease. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention when I got that. I suppose there were rats. Bodrian camp. Ah! Bandit carrier. Oh no. They got an attack dog. She was tough. Dog has a lockpick. Aegis of Reflection? What? Reflect spell 14% on self? Oh, uh, yes, please. I will sell that in a heartbeat. Oh, you had enchanted stuff. Dwarven Cylinder. I'll take that. Where's your campsite? Uh -huh. Sleep until morning. Yeah, I know. It it is pog. Like reflect spell is an enchantment I don't normally see until level 30. And me being level 8 on And this is vanilla ob oblivion. Like it's it's game of the year, but it's oblivion or it's it's vanilla, so there's no mods. No mods, just DLC. So, the Daedric Scholar here. Oh, something I'm going to have to decide uh, after the Fighters Guild is whether or not to do Knights of the Nine. Because I'm thinking I want to be, like, a Paladin, but should I be Daedric Paladin or should I be uh, Nine Divines Paladin? Ah, oh, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Excellent. I'm looking forward to our investigation. Fascinating subject, these Deidre. Daedric Shrine. My research shows there is likely a shrine in these caves. I'll need you to accompany me to the shrine. Handle any difficulties. She's looking back and forth, and she's all nervous like this. It's very sus. I'm listening. Ooh, I could persuade her. Not, don't, please. I'm s not that. I doubt it. Mm-hmm. I, but if, don't waste your flat. Don't try to manipulate. I, good. Yes, yes. Whatever you say. I doubt. What? Whatever you want. That's pretty good. Ooh. I don't. Whatever you want. Not bad. Not bad at all. Consider yourself persuaded. 
Uh, what's the difference, Grugo? Um, so the nine divines are generally accepted as the good gods of the Elder Scrolls, and the Daedric princes are considered evil. However, um, there are some. That's not bad. There are some Daedric princes that are considered good by certain cultures in the game. For example, um, uh, Mehrunes Dagon, the main villain of this game, Oblivion, is obviously evil. Um, but Azura, the main um, deity of Morrowind, is considered good. Um, there's also Meridia, which is a Daedric prince, but she is also considered good because she hates undead. So, like, Azura is, like, the god of the Dark Elves. Uh, Meridia is, like, you know, the god of light. And then there's, um, one god that's kind of, like, morally ambiguous. I think that's Boethia. Boethia being um, depicted as both male and female. And he or she... Ugh, oh, clan fears. I hate clan fears. Well, she's, she's got a kit. She may not have armor, but she is well prepared for this. More than I am, actually. Oh. So, yeah, I, I would totally... Um... Oh, man. Another sh long sword of frost. Speed boots. Grand soul gem. Thank you very much. Let's, uh... Since this one's out of charges... I'm going to downgrade to an iron sword, but yeah, we'll be fine. But yeah, if if you ever uh, have some free time, I would go on to like the unofficial Elder Scrolls wiki or the official one, either one, um, and look up Daedric Princes and the Nine Divines. See what each one represents and make your choice of which one's your favorite. Or play the game, and that's how I uh, discovered them for myself. Personally, my favorite of all the gods in Elder Scrolls is Sheogorath, the Prince of Madness. Um, there's an entire DLC in this game um, that focuses around his own plane of oblivion called the Shivering Isles. And I fully intend on streaming uh, my next experience doing that, because that is one of my favorite... That is, that is my favorite DLC of any game of all time, is Shivering Isles. And I'll explain why I love it uh, in more detail later, but um, I'll do that when we come to that. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, you know, in a future stream, I will be uh, taking Sir Fando the Mandalorian. Yep, Sir Fando the Mandalorian. Into the Shivering Isles. And I'm wondering... Oh, you just had... You just made me follow you into a, a tomb with just a bunch of skulls in it. It seems like a evil Daedra we're uh, investigating here. So far, I've just seen the clan fears. And I have no idea which shrine this one is. I know there's a Shea Gorath one, but that's next to Leowin. This one could be nocturnal? Maybe nocturnal. Scamps. No 
don't mind me just looting the chest before. She is overpowered. This guy was like chunking my health. Starlight. I'll take that. Frenzy up to level six. Uh, it's probably not going to be. Ooh, Daedra Heart. Frenzy spells don't work unless they're like twice your level. See, Alante does not need me at all. Like, nearness of evil? This thing weighs 43 pounds. What does this mace even do? Weakness to fire. Uh, and then he has some fire spells. It's too heavy for my blood. Bonk. All right. So there is starlight. I'm gonna take that. Uh, there is a cool uh, thing in Oblivion where if you just wait an hour, you get all your health back. Any difficulty, you can do this. It progresses time, and I think it's kind of broken because I rely on it very heavily. Oh, it's a, it's a broken shrine. Who is this? Wow, that mischievous laugh of hers. I think she has more... Okay, so who is this? This Daedric Prince. Um, judging by the horned head, the two arms, and a lizard-like tail, I'm guessing this is none other than Malag Bal. And he is probably just as bad as the Daedric Princes go. So, like, um, Mehrunes Dagon is Prince of Destruction, but, like, Molag Bal is, like, insidiously evil. Like, you can look up, Excellent. you can look up his atrocities, a but... fine example of a Diedrich Shrine. Sorry for the trouble getting here. Let's keep moving. Keep moving? I, th I thought we were here. This is where you wanted to go. Yeah, if you if you look up uh, what Moloch Ball's known for, um, yeah, it's some pretty messed up stuff. I think I'll study this shrine a bit longer. You can make your way out here. I thank you again for your help. Please take this as a token of my thanks. A book. It's a skill book, but it's a book. Uh, tell me more about the shrine. A fine study to add to my research. I thank you for your help. I appreciate all... <laughs> You're not going to tell me who this is. Thanks. I know it's Molag Bal. What do you want with Molag Bal? Okay. Lower pa... You said I could leave this way. That's the lower passages. It's like further into this place. Oh, over encumbered with bone meal. Of all things. The scamp skin is heavy. Oh. Don't need to pick the lock when you can just do that. I gotta get my way back to town. Quite satisfactory. 
sell off some of this loot. Oh no, not more scabs. Why is this one running away? somewhere in this cave. Oh, no. I had to be really quick uh, with this guy. His frost spells were chunking me. Those are some good potions. Let's see here. Is there anything I could get rid of? Oh no, my armor's broken. Let's see if I can, uh... Oh, I can't repair with enemies nearby. Very well. I'll do some recharging. Alright, I don't need that one anymore. Because I recharged my other one. Bound Dagger. She said this was the way out. I'm not ready for this fight. I'm not ready for this fight. Fortify health. Um, frost shield, sure. I'm out of healing potions. How many of these guys are there? You fool! I have resist frost! Dramora Mace. Potion of... Oh, these are, these are good. Apprentice. Mortal and Pestle. Yes, please. Oh, there's a Slaughterfish. day. Resist magic. This is where I waited. <laughs> Speaking of waiting, it saves before I wait. I think it should save after I stop waiting. That'll make more sense. Aha!
Okay. Let me just, uh... Check in here real quick. talked. It's all good. Just gonna do some recharging. Yes? Oh. Forgot. You need to walk to that corner and then talk to me. I think I'll study the a fine. Okay. Thanks again. We already spoke. Oh yeah, let's read the read the book. Blade skill. Thank you. That's gonna help. can't wait with enemies nearby. Well, what if I wait in the corner of the room? Or up the stairs? Full health. Clan fears are, that was just a runt, but like if I fought an actual like, like regular clan fear, it would be a, it would be an annoyance at the very least, because every time you see them, glow yellowy orange, is actually them reflecting my damage back at me. It's not fun. this. Maybe that. Yeah, let's use the uh, dude's spell against him, I think. Come in here and be like, hi, can I cast this on you? Oh, there's more. I need to find a bed at my nearest convenience. Back down this cavern. Can I rest? I would like to rest. I mean, I can't wait with enemies nearby. There are no enemies. There's no enemies in this side. I went through a low door. Oh. They followed me. That's why I couldn't wait. Ooh, topaz. Funny how being underwater still does not prevent me from taking fire damage.
ourselves a torch going again. Chameleon potion. That gives me an idea. Chameleons like invisibility, only um, if you're camouflaged and perform an action, you don't lose your camouflage uh, once you perform the action. If that makes sense. Why isn't he... Why isn't this guy dying? It's a strong scamp. I'm gonna wait again. So yeah, if I'm invisible and I open a door or attack an enemy, I'm no longer invisible. But if I'm camouflaged... If I... If I have a bit of camouflage going, and the camouflage effects range from like 5 to 20 percent, yeah, like 5 to 25 percent, hmm, I've seen 35, so it's like 5 to 35 percent camouflage per enchanted item, which means if you combine them, because the effects stack, you can get up to and over 100% camouflaged, which means you are completely invisible. Anything less than 100 uh, improves your sneak ability, but not necessarily... Um, it doesn't give you full invisibility like invisibility does. So that was the way the game tried to balance it out. But the game did not account for people wearing multiple enchantments of chameleon to bring their camouflage level over a hundred percent. So basically, if I did that, I could run into the city, punch guards all day, and they'd never be able to arrest me or attack me because they wouldn't know where I was. Oh look, it's the end of the loaded world. And it loaded. Okay. So I need to go back to Azan in Anvil. Okay. Let's do this contract. And before leaving Anvil, is it morning? No. Actually, yeah, if it's 6 o'clock, I should sell stuff first. Hi, did I persuade you yet? Good day. Certainly. I did. What can I interest you in? What can I interest you in? That's right, you're buying from me. That's more than I'd usually... Aegis of Reflection. Boots of Speed. Light Armor. Go. Sold the good stuff up to 19,000 gold, which is enough to buy almost anything I want. Don't need Welkin stones. Varla stones will come in handy, but not these. That seems a fair price. Can I haggle you a bit more? Yes, I can. You got. That's more than I'd usually pay. Sweet. And then to buy all your repair hammers. A bargain at any price. 320. That's a lot better than paying 6,000. Or whatever it was. The Fighter's Guild. I'm just spamming clicking. Did it say it? I missed the, uh, warder, not even warden, where's my repair, armor 
armor apprentice. Um, governing attribute endurance. Why is it endurance and not like intelligence or some other form of crafting skill? That's just me. Also, why are axes considered blunt? What? What? Hell. No. Sunny, partly cloudy, not hail. People don't know how to tell the weather around here. Hail. No. Roof. Indoors. We are safe from weather. Oh, sleep in own bed. Which one's mine? This one. Oh, I only get two? Well, I guess we'll do endurance, speed, and strength again. The go to three. Strength for damage, speed for speed, and endurance for endurance. Good to see you. Good to see you. That's how you do a greeting. You don't just say a wrong weather. Like if I came up to you and said snow, you'd be a little put off, I would think. Azan. Azan. Where are you, Azan? Is he downstairs? Did I miss him? Hi. I did. Oh, hello. Good day. Hi. You finished excellent. Good work, guildmate. Here's your payment for the contract. Why, thank you. Uh, any more? I don't have anything for anyone in your rank. Check with Burr's Grokosh in Shaden Hall. He might have something. Figures. Bye. Wait, what do you train in? Like Good that you want to get better. Eh. Be seen. <laughs> it's blunt. Oh. Back to Shaden Hall. The fact that I have to go Who will help an old beggar? from one side of the country to another in between every single quest for this guild is very inefficient. Like, no wonder recruitment is so low. If I was guild master of the Fighters Guild, my first inaction would be to localize all contracts. No more chasing away half the country. Yo, Burrs. It's not even in the guild hall. Burrs go cash. Are you on the island again? Yes, he's on the island for some reason. Greetings. Hi. What can I do for you, meat? Need something to do? Yes, I do need something to do. I've got something for you. Could be tough. There are some escaped fugitives for you to find, meat. Oh, boy. Some real hard cases got out of the Breville prison. Been terrorizing the locals ever since. The watch is useless, so we step in. Get to it. Cool. Apparently, there are three or four of them. Real nasty from what I hear. You take care of them. Maybe you'll get lucky and they'll surrender. Get to hunting, meat. I'm very persuasive. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and then we will head to Breville and chase down those, uh, those peoples.
I am back. Hey, Euro. Welcome to Oblivion. I am going to travel to uh, Breville, I believe this place was. I'm only asking for a single coin. You see, I'm, I'm not actually, like, bringing the stream back yet. Because I mistakenly went to the wrong city. <laughs> this is Breville. Yes, hello. This is Breville. Yeah, it, it, I traveled back to, Ch to Shaden Hall, and I was just like, wait, wait a minute. Do I really want to restart the stream here? It's been thunderstorming every single place I've gone to oh. let's head on inside and see if we can learn about these fugitives in our local guild hall hi I hope I can help I'm sure you can wish I could help you out but the locals aren't talking you might try asking around butter them up a bit good luck oh <laughs> my face cam is muted is it? Oh, the f <laughs> No, it wasn't. Face cam. I, th I think it was deafened, not muted. Da, 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 da. It's they... always a pleasure to hear Uravasa Osrela speak at chapel. She has a real way with words. Uravasa, Ol what? Who? It's always a pleasure to hear Uravasa Osrela speak at chapel. She has a real way with words. Well, I think anyone that could pronounce that name has a way with words. Bye. Okay, gotta ask, ask the locals. And no better local to ask than the Countess. Actually, the Count himself. Why? Because I just got the idea that maybe I should ask the Count. Because if anyone knew what was going on in the dredges of. of the, uh. No, Grogu, it was a good joke. I just didn't get it at first. Greet Regulus Torrenti. Yeah, 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 I know you're the Count. Hey, you know what? Anything about... Wait a minute. I'm listening. I gotta butter you up first. Because they said do that. Okay, he likes these two. So, such adventures. There we go. Well, not now. Sorry. I don't get it. I can't argue with that. Uh, he's very hard to persuade. Uh, fugitives? Sure, I know about them. Look, you didn't hear it from me, but rumor is... They're hiding out in Blood Mane Cave. Four of them. Bad news. Good enough for me. You too. So, Blood Mane Cave. Over there. the captain of the guard. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. See? You go straight for the source. You ask the count. The person in charge of the town. Like, have you ever, like, you ever, like, just drove to a city and, like, walked straight up to the mayor and said, like, hey, how much does Walmart pay in this city? Or, or just, like, some... Some run-of-the-mill question. Yeah, that you ask the most important person in town because apparently they know everything. Hello, you have a nice horse. Hello. Oh, you're the Countess. Good day. Wait a minute. Are you the Countess of Breville? How did a dark elf become Count Shadenhorn? King Helseth and Baranzia have considerable influence, and Helseth and Indaris are cronies. 
get it. Wait. One more time. How did a dark elf become Count Shadenor? King Helseth and Baranzia have considerable influence. And Helseth and Indaris are cronies. Get it? Be seeing you. I forgot to see if the Count is, uh, his last name is Caro. She probably is the Count, or the Countess, of Breville. The fact that the Countess is like, you know, the, the, uh, the wife of the Count is just like roaming around on a horse. On the outskirts of town, no guards to be seen. That is like, either she is one tough lady, or the count does not care about her, or, you know, what, you know what I mean? Why would somebody, anybody, just, you know, with that kind of a position, like, you are, like, the ultimate leverage if somebody wanted to kidnap you and like you know demand ransom yes I'm related to the most powerful person in the city I'm going to go for a stroll on my horse very slowly alone on the outskirts of town when there are fugitives on the loose Personally, if I knew there were fugitives on the loose, and I wanted to ride my horse, I would wait a day. I would wait a day, and when the trouble is cleared and it's safe to go out onto the streets, I would, I would go out onto the streets a day later. Oops. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was playing Oblivion. Okay, so there's four fugitives in this cave. Whoa. They got the alien gas traps here. And one of these opens. I picked the right one off the right off the bat. Well, well. Look who we've got here. Hi. You've made a big mistake. Have I? Shouldn't have come for us. I, I was hired to. Oh, this is none of your business. Not the smartest. Not the smartest person. I have not killed Hjelfgar. I did not kill him. He just died. He was like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an angry dude. I'm going to just choke on the air. Large chest. Let's see, what was he cooking here? Nothing. I wonder if I can get everyone in this dungeon to, like, fall to their own devices. You know? That would be something. I just don't think there's enough traps in here. Because I'm not going to lead the next person all the way back there. Somebody set up camp. Oh, 
That's an easy lock. Is anybody down there? The next person is through here a bit. Oh no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Don't do it to me. I don't think she can ah <laughs> I don't think she could get over as she gets over This is none of your business It's of course my business In hindsight I probably shouldn't have let her like bring me down to half health But uh We're here now Wait. See, at least the fugitives were smart enough to, like, bring beds. Like... Yeah, I, I would, uh... I wonder why the last bandit company who took up in an alien ruin and none of them thought to bring bedrolls. Like, one even brought... Fancy upper class furniture and tapestries, but nobody brought a single place to sleep. Can somebody explain that, please? Your presence here will not be tolerated. You've made a big mistake. You've made a big mistake. You've made a big mistake. Say that one more time. You've made a big mistake. <laughs> There's a bit of lettuce in this covered pot. Oh, I love it. It's a movable container. Hey, friend. You've made a big mistake. You wanna, you wanna jump? This is none of your business. You've made a big... You shouldn't. Well, come on down here and tell me about it. You shouldn't have come for us. You shouldn't have come for us. You made a big mistake. <laughs> Oblivion is famous for its dialogue. Whoa. You are not a fugitive. That's 
just a... Ooh, paintbrush. <laughs> Fando, I think you made... I, I think I did make a big mistake. Guy, he has four four dialogue lines. <laughs> He's got four lines of dialogue, and he won't shut up. <laughs> it's too good. Up. Oh. I should pay attention to the game I'm playing. At least I found him. Okay, I gotta recharge this thing. It's not doing any damage. Yeah. That cold damage is what's really uh, doing it for me. An elven bow. An elven arrows. What does the elven bow do? Twice as much damage? I could probably sell the other one. I like elven arrows in Oblivion. They got that nice feather on the back. Steel arrows are pretty cool looking too. <laughs> Talks more than your cat. This is none of your business. I think I think it is oh my goodness, did he just Oh Two can play at the weapon degradation game. You shouldn't have come for us. Oh, he just He just took out a battle axe! I did not see that coming. <laughs> uh, poor me. All right. Definitely waiting this time. Is there a paintbrush in this one? Oh. Well, looks like we get to listen to our, uh, our good friend, you made a big, big mistake again. You have made a big. <laughs> you have made a big mistake. You have made a big mistake. You shouldn't have come. For I I didn't think it would happen so quickly. Down here. None of your business. You shouldn't have come for us. I'll sh you know what? I'll show you. This is none of your business. This is none of your business. This is none of your business. Oh. This is none of your business. Maybe this I should look where I'm placing these things. Oh, that's a repair hammer. You shouldn't have come. Did I just... My armor rating went up eight points by selecting a, a paintbrush. For us. This is none of your eh? I might be able to actually, like... See this dude if I, uh. 
Yeah, look at that. As soon as I drop a paintbrush, my armor rating goes up eight points. Yeah, prove it. Yeah, see? Made a big mistake. He's making a big mistake by just repeating himself. Eh? Whoops. This is none of your business. You've made a big mistake. Uh, ha, ha You shouldn't have come for us. You shouldn't have come for us. Nobody ever expects them to come out of the holes in the ground. Dreet Lay, or Dreet Lai, you made a big mistake. Thinking you're safe up here from me. Ha. I am the king of getting into areas where I'm not supposed to be. Sir Fando is way too curious about the surrounding world. Okay, so this next dude was able to get my health down a bit. Is this where I came out? I think it was. Yep, there's my brushes. Look at this. Take these back, I think. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's an onion in it this time. This pot right here. A portable storage container. I can just kick around. Like, if I was over encumbered, I'd put everything into this little pot. Bring the pot to the entrance. And I think if I'm still, like, holding it, it comes with me or something. Oh, that's a bear. <laughs> Just... It was an imp last time. Now there's a bear. I was so happy I had my pot. My little portable storage pot that I could take anywhere and put my stuff in. And then, bear. Okay. I guess that was a thing. Okay. So I got my Sunder Blade because I know this guy is a con or a, uh, a corrosion weapon. So this is none of your business. No, you don't you don't get to take that. This is okay, there is there is no battle axe in this one. Uh, I think I'm I think I played my cards right this time. Just like that, the quest is over. Wow. I completely obliterate. Wait, there it is. Dagger of Fragments. Disintegrate weapon 40 points on strike. Well, if the weapon only has 100 points, that is a very powerful tool. 
but my blade my blade has a little uh a little better enchantment than that yeah i think i one shot at his dagger somebody want to go back and check the clip <laughs> did i one shot his dagger oh this this thing only has 10 points of health left it only has 30. It's not looking good for my uh, armory. May actually have to spend some money. Okay, what else is up here? Another chest. Dwarven arrows. Okay. If you ever want to play an archer in Oblivion, and you don't have the DLC for it, which why would you not have the DLC? Because I believe at this point, you can get everything Oblivion came with, or comes with. All DLC, including the horse armor, in the Game of the Year edition, for like 10 bucks. Like, if it ever goes on sale, you can buy everything, or you can get everything Oblivion related for like 5 bucks. Do the Mayrun's Razor expansion. Go to Deep Sook, or Deep Scorn Hollow. It's a massive dungeon crawl. And it's worth it just for the arrows in that dungeon. There are so many archers, you'll get so many arrows. You could finish the rest of your play playthrough of Oblivion without running out of arrows. It's not a guarantee, but it feels like one. Because by the time I get bored of being an archer, I, call it for an old beggar. I want to hear you change your voice actor. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. See? Thank you, kind sir. Greetings. Blessings of Julianus upon ye. I'm saving up. <laughs> Blessings of Anu upon ye. I don't know who Anu is. Is that a hole in the assets? Look at that. I can see the clouds through the bottom of this house. I knew it. The houses of Shadenhall were drafty all along. You've got a contract. I, I took care of it. Took care of all of them, did you? And you're still alive. <laughs> Fantastic. You're full of surprises. Here's your payment. Good work. Did I ever persuade you? Take your time. Oh, he's he's fine. Uh, advancement. You've been doing a good job and under a lot of scrutiny. I've been authorized to promote you to the rank of guardian. Good work. Cool. Any work? I understand Orion is looking for you again. Get to Coral and speak with a man. You too. Okay. Mr. Orion. Good. Well met. Hi. I've got another job for you. It's a sensitive one. I need you to find Varenus Donton. What happened to him? I sent him on a mission to Forsaken Mine. He and some others were supposed to clear the place of trolls. Haven't heard back from them in days. I want you to go check it out. I don't need to tell you how sensitive a matter this is. Get moving and report back to me as soon as possible. So Varenus or Varenus Danton is the Guildmaster's son. You can do it. The Guildmaster's son is missing. Forsaken mine. In Leowin? Uh oh. 
not Leia win. Leowin is not the po <gasps> It's my friend Maik. Well met, adventurer. Maik knows much. Tell some. Maik knows many things others do not. I have seen dragons. Perhaps you will see a dragon. I won't say where I saw one. Perhaps I did not. Bye. Maik in Oblivion is infamous for talking about things that aren't actually in the game. Like dragons, children, Colovian fur helmets, etc. Funnily enough, the sequel to this game introduced dragons. So I actually have to go all the way around. Should probably discover this place. Greyland. Actually, that guard. The guard at the uh, city gate actually wanted me to, wants me to go to that place. So, if it's on the way, I might as well do two quests at once. Like, why can't the guard just go and clear it out himself? You know. Perhaps you'll be able to assist me. I'm after some skooma dealers. Sure. A small group of skooma dealers led by a dunmer named Kylie Sonaro is holed up in the Grayland settlement just up the road. I've been trying to catch Lenavo for months, but every time I approach the place, his lookout sees me and he goes running. I need someone to go in there and put a stop to those fetchers. I don't care what it takes. We must get that poison they're selling off the street. Bring me Lenavo's ring as proof he's been dealt with. And I'll give you the bounty on him. Yeah, ch children are also not existent in Oblivion. Or Morrowind, for that, for that matter. Um, I think you can attack children in Skyrim, it's just ch all children are invincible in Bethesda games because of obvious reasons. Go ahead. I won't fight you. Your path. Was that so? I'd like that. A lot. You would. I'd like that. A lot. I'm I can't argue with that. That's really funny. Where'd you get? I can't argue with that. Was that supposed to be... That's a bit excessive. I can't argue with that. That's not bad. Cool. Okay. Gotta go to Greyland. Is this like right up here? Like, what kind of mini quest is this where... The guard right outside the house tells you to go in the house and kill everybody in it. Hi! Well, my uh, sword seems to have been uh, broken in. Yep, I'm running out of uh, enchanted items. He's good. Yeah. 
Well. And I got his ring. I wonder if his armor is in better condition than mine. Yes. Is the answer. Saves me on a repair hammer. I found a skooma. Ooh, paintbrush. And I believe... Unless it was a mod, I think there's a hidden trap door somewhere in this. In this house, there's like a trap door that actually like leads down to the skooma making area. It, it might have been a mod that I had like a really long time ago. And I don't remember... Yeah, I, I, I just don't remember where... Or why I remember there being a trap door here that goes down to like a place where you can loot a whole bunch of skooma and moon sugar and stuff. Unless it's like... Because, like, why would it just be in a cupboard next to the groceries, you know? Like, if this is supposed to be some big old skooma making operation. Yeah, just some busted up crates. Empty stuff on the outside. Um, I'm gonna do the trolls first, and then come back to them. Forgot how long it takes to do a guild quest line. I thought it, I thought it would be like four hours, but like this is my fourth stream into this, and I've been doing like three hours per stream. So, 12 hours in, and... Uh... Still not done with the Fighter's Guild yet. Gee, I wonder if this is the mine. This is a big rock in the middle of nowhere. Bunch of skulls, ready to go. My sword has 26 durability left. I may have to resort to, uh, using my bow. Arienti? Oh no. Mud crabs and, and rats. Ashtus? Do I remember you from somewhere? Cartress? I don't remember. Ah! Ooh, silver veins. Let's be on the lookout for some silver, okay? Oh, a unique paintbrush. And a cure disease always useful. Right now it's just it's just rats and mud crabs in here. Who's this? Cargus? Let 
Cargus? No, I know I've never met her. I would remember a woman named Cargus. Matthias. Like, I, I appreciate the developers, like, adding names to all these people. But if they wanted to take the extra step, I would have met some of these while playing through the guild up until this point. That would have had a, a bigger impact, I think. Oh. This is an easy lock. Cure paralysis. Okay, did I miss a door? Oh, it's it's one of those style. Just a little hole in the corner. Your main objective is through this tiny hole in the corner. Yeah, I can unlock a silver vein. You ever notice that? Like the unlock spell works with any container. So, if it's a hollowed out rock, or a legitimate rock, Blackwood Company. I wonder if this armor's better than mine. All right, time to sort. The shield is. The armor is. Pretty much everything about the Blackwood stuff is better than mine. Maybe because my stuff is damaged. Lashana. Did I meet Lashana somewhere? Like, the names are starting to sound familiar. Hopefully, uh, Madrin doesn't, um, hate me for... Oh, jeez. I hate trolls. I hate trolls. And I will explain why I hate trolls really, really quickly. But first, I have to drop a bunch of paintbrushes so he doesn't follow me into... this next area. Because trolls regenerate health at a ridiculous rate, and I believe it is faster or they regenerate health faster than I can take it down. Their bedroll. <laughs> I leveled up and I want to sleep again. Yeah, if I'm dealing with trolls in this next area of the dungeon, I'm gonna want my paintbrush moves. No. 
He's so fast. Can I do it? Can I sufficiently entrap myself off? This is how low-level characters fight off high-level enemies. That was fun. a wider wider area let's go into the tunnel As I level up, I'll be using the paintbrushes less and less. Because then I'll be actually able to handle these guys. But right now, my, uh, my marksman skill is getting some nice needed leveling. Sounds like I'm walking on a sewer grate when uh, stepping on the paintbrushes. Okay. Strong potion of healing. We're in the end game now. Paintbrushes are literally lifesavers. But I think that one just got around him. Good thing I brought, well, hopefully enough. No. <laughs> How lucky I am. That a simple object like a paintbrush has no collision coded into it, therefore making it an unstoppable force. 
Oh no, my chat paused. Ah, and we're back. 159 iron arrows. These, these uh, savage trolls aren't regenerating health. I thought trolls regenerated health. It took three walls to stop these guys. I'm not a pro gamer. Oh no. Hang on. You think you can stop me across the bridge? It's time that this troll gets trolled on this bridge. Just my luck, he's gonna come up on that side. Wait for it. <laughs> the rat went to go chase the troll. <sighs> I'm assuming... Wait a minute. Where... Where would he come up from? Oh. <laughs> Found him. Let's uh, title the episode The Power of Paintbrushes. Because that's what I'm learning in this uh, final quest of the stream is paintbrushes are an invaluable Whoop, don't get stun locked don't get stun locked paintbrushes are lifesavers Aha! Let's not leave any of these behind. They are super valuable. and sealed in there, Mr. Troll. How many of them? How many of you are there? Call it, I made a big mistake for clickbait reasons. I don't know. I think I will... I think I think I want to go with the power of paintbrushes. Like this obviously wasn't a mistake. Like I would not be able to get through this dungeon without the uh, paintbrushes.
Can I get my health back yet? Good. Okay, some gnarly roots over there. Still no bedroll. I'm assuming the way I want to go is over here. Up oh, there's another troll. This guy seems tougher than the other ones. He is regenerating health, too. Come on. Sounds like that rat is still alive. You know, once once I started uh, finding the trolls, bullseye. That was a clean shot. Once I started finding the trolls, I found less and less fighter guild bodies. There's a dude over there. Let me block this up real quick. Okay, the mud crab can come through. Oh, he is tough little bug. My endurance is being drained. Jeez. Swamp fever from a mud crab. Don't uh, underestimate. The mud crab. Come on, Mr. Troll. Up. Let the mud crab through. Looks like we got a we have a queue. Ragdolls in this game are so good. Like, I, I really feel like when you deliver the, the last blow and knock back your enemy, it, it just feels right. Like, like, I know there's, like, mods to, like, make the physics in the game more realistic doing the air quotes right now but but like vanilla oblivion ragdolling you know there's weight to these things they feel heavy when you try to pick them up and wave <laughs> and wave hey everybody at home I'm a troll hello alright looks like we found Varanus Oh, his armor's even damaged. Silver longsword. I need one of those. It describes the mission went well until the Blackwood Company arrived. They battled and he survived. Gravely wounded, it appears he finally succumbed to his wounds. I should report this to Orain. A bloody journal. Blackwood gone quick as they came. They fought bravely, all did. Rest now, I hear I hear trolls. I'm sorry, mother. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> just, just, uh, just, just the change in mood. Like, I just read the story about how this guy, like, fought to the bitter end, escaped, and then was just, like, surrounded by trolls when he died. And the first reaction I have is to wave his, his dead arm. Uh, it's morbid. Is there a bedroll around here? Oh, Edward. You were his, you were his friend. Hi. I am looking for a place to sleep. Okay. You know, I, I guess I'll take it, but I didn't know that the hitbox of the uh, rat was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see a trail of blood. The wall won't shift. But this is the way out. How did I get to the other side of this place? Yeah, how, how did I get all the way through here to the very end of the dungeon? Is there a button, lever, something I can pull? No, I'm just back down here with the troll. I may not be that observant. The wall won't shift. But I'm on the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna look careful for something to pull, press, or push. Interesting. So, touching it, it said the rock wall won't budge. But just standing next to it, it just comes down. Some sort of automated delivery door thing. This is the way out. Forsaken mine. I suppose uh, Madrin would be very upset if I came in wearing a Blackwood Company Curus. So if I repair my If I repair everything, what's better still? The Blackwood. It weighs... It weighs nine pounds more. Provides one more piece of protection. 
and is worth 300 gold more. That one point is worth 300 gold more. Well, if you, if the fighter skill doesn't want me wearing Blackwood Company merch, they should provide me with as good stats, good stat armor as that. There's a clickbait title for you, Grogu. I joined the Blackwood Company. With like six question marks at the end. This lantern has no collision. I can walk straight into it. teach you to tell me I have no magicka left. Okay, let's talk to the guard in front of... Oh, hi. Hey, troll, and also red circles. You mean the blood stains? the stables. Talk to the guard and get the bounty. Hey there, I did your uh, quest. So what's the news from Grayland? I killed the guy. Any luck taking down Lenavo? Yep. Here's his ring. You've done it. I can't even begin to thank you enough. By the divines, I salute you in the name of the Legion. <laughs> Here is your well-earned reward. 20 gold. 20 gold. <laughs> 20 gold. Insert quick save meme here. How are you? Hi. No, I don't want to buy a horse. Alright, time to deliver the bad news. I know, right? Big oof. I know I only killed two bandits, but, like, it was a tough fight. And the way he talked everything up, it was I was expecting it to be, like, you know... Like, at least a hundred. I know you're a side quest, but like, you know, when you say, get the bounty on him. No wonder the, no wonder the city guard and like, everyone else wasn't going to do anything about him, you know? Oh, Madrin went to his house, I'm assuming. Well, that's fine. I can level up while I wait. Ooh, five points to endurance. Yes, please. Strength. Uh, with all that... With all that bow work, I didn't get any points to get... To go into agility? Wow. Wow. Yes, I did get scammed by the guard and by my level up. Hello. Did you hear that Dharma has disappeared? Is this true? Dharma disappeared. Let me handle this. Wait, you handle this? You're back. What have you found out? Uh, bad news. Dead. Dead. What happened? A journal? Let me see that. Backward company. Bastards! Rank amateurs! I don't like to think how Valena is going to take this news. He was my responsibility. I'll be the one to tell her. I want you to lay low for a while. 
Talk to Azan or grow cash. Let me deal with Felena. You've still got a career ahead of you. Okay. Be seeing you. Good day. But she's upstairs. He just left. Hmm. There's a copper ring here. I'll take Hail. that. Hi. Well, hello there. Sabine Lawl, Guildsmith. Real happy to meet you. So, what can I do for you? Can I persuade you? Tell me more. Nope. Uh, what do you sell? Let's do business. I'm surprised he didn't uh, make any remark about how I am wearing uh, Blackwood Company stuff. Let's start the bidding off 65%. That's a good deal. Excellent. Um, I don't have soul's trap spell, so I'll just sell the empties. You've made a good You drive a hard bargain. Okay. So I got my silver sword, which does a good amount of damage actually, especially when my Sort of numbing is broken. Dagger fragments broken, therefore I can't sell it. Um, bow of burning I can sell. But I think that's it. What what are you selling? Repair hammers, yes. Three hundred gold. That that's a lot better than the other place. Thank you. Come again. I will. For the right price, I can make anything good as new. Repair all. Everything for 20,000 gold. Well, it's only uh, 40 gold for the longsword, so I'll do that. 1,000 gold for the Akaviri Sunderblade. Oh, wait. No, it's not 20,000 for everything. If I hit this, uh, yeah. Everything for 1,000 gold. Um, no. Because these two I can repair myself. This one, uh, don't need yet. I'll think about it. Let's do business. But now that these are repaired, I just made profit. Come back and see me again. That was, that was a, farewell. That was a good deal. Well, I am approaching the three-hour mark, so I think that is going to be it. So I hope you can join me next time for watching Sir Reginald in... Why do I keep calling him Sir Reginald? It's Sir Fando, the Fandalorian. And I, I, can, do the, I can do the crouch thing that you do in, in Minecraft, I just can't do the Optifine zoom. But yeah, I, I, I can do that. So yeah. I will see you all in the next installment of uh, Oblivion Let's Play, The Adventures of Sir Fando, where we leave off, hopefully finishing the Fighters Guild questline. So until then, bye for now.